my first thought was, my God, what have we done? We got a lot of work to do because we proved that this can actually work. The creeks up here, the steelhead habitat itself is the great leveler, the great humbler. Come up here and try to roll cast into a pocket underneath the conifer and drift it through a root wad and then pull it out before it gets stuck in the log jam, all the while minding the trees that are two feet over your head. Curse words just fly out of steelheaders up here. <laughs> Seeing them in a river is the easy part. Getting a fish in hand or documenting the existence of that fish in such a fashion that it's incontrovertible that that is that species in that location at that time, the work has kind of just begun. To be honest, there's not a whole lot of money I've ever made in my life that didn't derive directly from fish. I mean, they're, they're my source of income. Somewhere along the path you realize, hey, <laughs> fish are kind of important to me. And you look around at all your friends, you go, you know, these are, these are important. And the bank's not gonna give loans to somebody who's, who's not invested in the resource. There we go. So it drops in there just like that. As a lifelong admitted fish nerd and addict, I like, likes too weak. I love fish. And they, they've intrigued me since I was a small child. Water and fish. The more I know about them, the more I realize that I don't know anything about them. But then, the more I know about them, the more I realize that the people that are managing them may not have the firmest grip on what's going on. I don't want to rely on a system that may or may not let a run or a river's worth of fish wink out of existence because they don't have the time or the money to do it. All these streams, these anatomous streams, are cataloged by the state of Alaska. At least they should be. <laughs> they, should be they should be accounted for. Turns out about 50% of either the habitat and or the species in that habitat has yet to be cataloged. The Anatomous Waters Catalog is the legally binding document for use and development of any riparian area. Matter of fact, within, within a half an hour's flight time at Juneau, there's conservatively 20 streams that I've been to, that I've fished on, that have steelhead, several of which I've guided people on them, that aren't listed as having steelhead by, by the AWC, by the legally binding document. They're not there. And so no conservation measures are afforded those fish. The big question is, how come the catalog's not 100% complete? I got lucky. I was staring at it, staring at the right place at the right time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We right. didn't go in as the voice of no, and I really like that about Trout Unlimited's work. We don't go in with the, we're not the no, we're not the stop, we're not the, the trust fund hippie chaining yourself to a, a tree and saying, don't cut this down, or, or just going on this immediate no reaction. It's a, it's a well-reasoned sit down, talk with all sides, find a balance point in there, but always be insistent that the fish need to be weighed on the balance. They can't just be mitigated against. You can't just build a hatchery and replace what, what has taken thousands upon thousands of years to make. 
Aaron, uh, what'd you say the you know, temple through my, Thank you. My knowledge of these watersheds, from either being on them or having researched them to the nth, every extant document I could find about them, we kind of settled on a sweep of, of the T-77 watersheds to go into to see if they were stealing. You're landing in salt water and walking to the furthest place a steelhead could spawn and then coming back. We have the records of the fish. We have fish in hand. We've got the coordinates that they came from. Now starts the hard process of the actual nomination to get these areas included. The long-term slog is to now continue. We started. Well, now what? Honestly, now what? Where do, where do we stop? Do we stop? On many things, it's open not a Pandora's box, but a box, of, a box of possibilities. And we just have to decide how we can go about doing more of this. But as a society, is this valuable to us?